Hey, what is up friends? My name is Rick and welcome to a DaVinci Resolve Fusion 17 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to get loads of free plugins and effects for Fusion. Let's get started. So all you have to do is navigate down to the description. There's a link for this form post down there. Uh, basically, all we're doing is installing Reactor 3. So go to the uh, link in the description and install the or download the uh, Lua file over here by pressing on this arrow here. Once it's completed, drag and drop it to your desktop, for example, or wherever it's most comfortable for you. And then on DaVinci Resolve, uh, go over to Fusion and then drag and drop the Lua file into the nodes uh, section of Fusion. It will now ask you to install and launch it. So just press install and launch. And I will start downloading everything and installing all of the main Reactor 3 uh, parts. So we're going to let this finish its installation and we'll continue from there. All right, and we are done. Uh, please note the installation can take a little while and it will open up a folder where the uh, Reactor installs itself. So that's right, you can close that out. And what you should be left with is this uh, box here uh, that has loads of different effects and plugins in it. As you can see, some of them are highlighted in red, that means they are disabled, and some of them are highlighted in green, uh, which means they are new uh, to Reactor. So these are getting updated all the time from what I can see. You can see the date when it was first released or last updated. I'm not 100% sure which one it is, uh, but these are tools that are constantly being updated as far as I'm aware. Uh, please note, they are free to use, all of these tools and plugins, but as you can see here, there's a donation uh, section here so any of them that says yes they will have a pop-up that will uh, ask you kindly to make a donation to the developer of the uh, plugin or effect so i do highly recommend that you do actually donate to if you can uh, if you let's say you use a plugin or effect a lot and they have a donation enabled please do give them some money but yeah you can see there's loads and loads of different effects and plugins you can uh, pick between um, I have only recently got this, so I haven't even been able to go through all of them. Uh, but if you see something that fancies you, uh, that seems interesting, you can click on it and it will give you a brief description of uh, what the plugin or effect does. All right, so I found a little tool here called Haze. So when I click on it, it gives the description, as I said previously. Um, so in to install any effects or plugins, you either select the one you like and press on install if you want to do single ones or go one by one. Or alternatively, if you've got multiple that you like, just check them here. And as you can see, it comes up with a donation pop-up since the donation pop-up is enabled for this plugin. So either press and shut up and take my money, that will take you to the PayPal link, or alternatively, it takes you to our Patreon link or some other link that they use for their donations. And you can donate there or press not right now, uh, but you will consider it later. So for the moment, I'm gonna press that button here and that will install the plugin there. If you need to update any of your plugins, there's a helpful update button here. So once you've installed a plugin or an effect through Reactor, you have to restart DaVinci Resolve. And so just close out the Reactor and it will say here, you may need to restart Fusion. I just restart the whole program, just close it out and reopen it. All right, once you've reinstalled it, go back to Fusion, go to the nodes here. You should be able to get the effect up by pressing Control and space on your keyboard and let's type in haze and that should be the one and you're gonna add it in and it will become a node here i don't have any uh, footage here to show it the exact effect with but this is just show that this is working basically uh, let's say you want to install new effects or plugins or you want to update the current ones in reactor uh, so to re-access reactor without having to reinstall it or anything is to go up to workspace, go down to scripts, reactor, and open reactor. So that will open it up. It should update reactor as well if there's a new update. And you can access all of the plugins again. And this is great if you have been using a plugin for a while and you wish to make a donation to the creator. Yeah, that's it. That's how you install reactor to get loads of free plugins and effects for the venture resolve fusion thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed it please give the like button down below if you have any questions leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already
Cheers.